Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes It Up. Yes, I'm in a different environment, and yes, there's a gardening noise behind me of some kind of lawnmower. I'm so sorry, but this is the only chance I have to film today, so we're gonna go with it. Maybe I'll just talk really loud. Um, how are you guys? What have you been up to? I am now living in Los Angeles, very surreal. I'm looking outside of natural light, of natural light? at natural light. I still can't talk. Um, jet lag has worn off and we're starting to settle in. Thank you for all your lovely well wishes. Um, so yeah, life's a little bit different at the minute. And um, I thought for today's video, I've actually got a subscriber request, which I thought was a really good idea for a video. The video is your skin but better. So we often talk about, you know, your lips but better, um, your eye color but better or whatever. So I just thought this is a really good idea, just sort of a natural looking skin and the steps you can use to achieve kind of a, your skin but better. So we're gonna do that today. And I've got a couple of products that you guys will know I love and a couple of new things I've been loving since I've been in America. Yes, I've done Ulta, yes, I've done Sephora, and um, I'm slightly addicted to new places to shop for makeup. So first things first, I have just used a bit of Garnier Skincare Micellar Water just to give my skin a clean. In fact, we're gonna have to do the comedy pinning clips back so let's do it so you can actually see my full face, that's better. So the next step I've been really enjoying, guys, is kind of getting that extra bit of hydration and extra moisture into my skin. And I've been using this a lot by Lancome, it's Energy De V. So it's like a serum meets a moisture lotion. So I feel like it's an extra step for when your skin is maybe a bit dehydrated or needs a little bit of extra something. So I just do two pumps of that, rub it together, and then I just press it into my skin like so so i've moisturized already early when i got out of the shower but this is almost like a pre-primer stage and i just find it really locks in the moisture really really nicely so the next thing that i think is essential if you kind of want to create that your skin but better is finding i think it's all about finding the products that work for your skin type as well so the first step really is knowing your skin type and the ingredients that are going to work well with your skin in order to make the most of it so you know working out is your skin dry is it dehydrated are you suffering from redness are you suffering from excess oil you know the first thing really is to decide what are your skin's needs and then look for the ingredients that are going to address that so you know you want to look for keywords like moisture hydration um, things like that if your skin is dry you know you want to look for oil control if your skin is um, more oily than normal so it sounds like common sense but i think it's just thinking about what your skin's needs are and addressing them so once you've got your skincare right, I think the next step is a primer. Now, yes, a primer does add in another step, and for some people, a time issue may mean that you skip this. However, if I'm doing the whole focus on my skin, then I will add in a primer. Now, I've been loving the Victoria Beckham Morning Aura, but it's incredibly pricey, and I think it's sold out. So, next best thing is a new favorite from Tarte. Now, this is the Clean Slate Flawless 12-Hour Brightening Primer has a very similar kind of glow to it to the Victoria Beckham one, um, a little bit easier to get hold of, squeezy tube, which I always like, and it comes out like a lotion, so it's not silicone-y feeling, it doesn't have that kind of, it feels more like a cream, which I prefer for my primers. So I'm gonna work that into the middle of my face, and I would say the main thing to keep in mind with primer is just to use it where you need it. So for me, it's more around the middle of my face and my chin. So as it gets towards the outside of my skin, I smooth it away to a really thin layer. So the next step is to even out the skin tone. Now, I think for me, the key emphasis that we need to concentrate is evening the skin tone, not covering the skin. Um, but for me today, I'm actually gonna work with a YouTube favorite. It is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And I managed to find it in a dinky mini size, which I thought was really cool. So this is from Ulta. Um, I am the shade light in this. Now, I do feel like their lighter shade would still be too warm for a lot of people with very pale skin. So that's something to keep in mind. However, really been impressed with this in terms of what you can do with it. Um, you've got SPF 50 with UVA and UVB spectrum as well. So really, really, you know, good um, quality SPF in there. It's like a liquid foundation. And I'm gonna do this with my fingers, to be honest. I kind of just wanna, again, I think if it's your skin but better, some brushes are good as well, but I think you can do a lot with your fingers. So I'm gonna start around my nose and I'm just gonna use the warmth of my finger. And for me, I'll always choose a more glowy foundation over something that's super matte. I just think it looks a little bit more youthful, a little bit fresher. 
And for me, it always feels like I'm kind of cheating more sleep. So I'm really buffing it in with the warmth of my fingers, just using my ring finger. And I'm gonna do a little bit of my chin. That for me is where I need the most coverage, usually around my chin and around my nose area. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. And a really good trick someone once taught me, another makeup artist taught me, is if ever you feel like you've gone too far with your foundation, it looks too heavy, just remove the makeup on your nose. Apparently as soon as that kind of skin comes through, it weirdly knocks back the rest of the foundation and makes it look a lot more natural. So good little tip for you there. So the next step I think is concealer. And I think with your concealer, again, it's working out what your skin's needs are. Is it kind of um, illuminating under the eyes? Have you got any redness you need to cover? Have you got any breakouts that you want to hide? So think about what your needs are again. And I think that helps you decide what concealer to choose. So I've got a couple here to show you that I'm enjoying. So I love the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I'll be using that under my eyes. Um, this one is really good on the go touch ups. This is the Bobbi Brown Retouching Face Pencil. I find this is very similar to the kind of Laura Mercier feel. It's a bit more, um, a bit more waxy in texture. It's great for kind of on the go dabbing on a spot. If you've got a spot that kind of keeps peeking through, that's really good. And then also my Bobbi Brown custom face palette that I made. So you can buy these empty palettes. You can even write on the back what you put in them. And in here, I have a mix of different shades of concealers. So some warmer when I've been on holiday, some cooler when it's uh, winter and I've lost my kind of summer color. Um, and I've got creamy concealers and I've also got some Laura Mercier secret camouflage in here, which are just great for on the go. And I know with anything more waxy, it's gonna be longer lasting and it will cover the redness better. So I really like those if I am having a breakout. Um, for today, I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. And I'm gonna do an eye card to my um, How to Cover Acne video for anyone who does have acne or breakouts and is looking for specific advice on how to cover that. So I'll do an eye card somewhere up here with a little bit more specific info on that. So I'm now just gonna take literally that much concealer, that's all I'm gonna start with. And for me, it's around my nose is the redness. So I'm gonna pop a little bit on there. For me, I will forever be loyal, I think, to my um, Real Techniques setting brush. And again, the only place I really need it at the minute is around my nose. I get a lot of kind of burst um, blood vessels around my nose, like little veins that come through. And I'm just using a tapping motion, almost like a stippling motion. And then I start to sweep that. I almost take it down the nose a little bit and then up here. And you can take it a little bit into the inner corner of your eye if you do suffer with any grayness there or any blue tones coming through. And I think sometimes less is more with concealer. You know, the more you put on, the more it will cake, the more it will kind of sit in any fine lines. So just be aware of that, that I think you want to use the minimum amount, but using the right placement and the right product that's gonna work with your skin type. So then I go back to the same concealer and then I go a tiny bit lower down than where I put my original concealer. So for me, my kind of darkest area, funny enough, is here. So I just do a couple of dots that little bit lower down and this is just gonna really bounce the light. So a light tapping motion just along that bottom bit I find just, you see it just gives that bit more brightness. So next step is to add a bit of shape and to set the face as well. So I'm gonna take my YSL Sunkiss Blur Perfector. So this one I'm using the shade three I've got at the minute, this one. And I'm gonna take another RMK brush. I think this is just called the foundation brush but it's beautiful with creams. And I'm just gonna give a bit of subtle definition. And I think what's great about this is it doesn't kind of sit on the skin, it really becomes a part of the skin. So it does look very believable and very natural. So I'm using this like I would do a bronzer, just to add a bit of color, a little bit of shape. And it's still gonna give me that appearance of real skin and a glow. So I'm just taking that kind of buffing motions and just little circular movements. So as well as having a nice sun-kissed appearance, which I personally like with my kind of everyday makeup, I do still feel like I need a hint of color. And I think any kind of pink tone, obviously the darker your skin tone, just go a bit more deeper with the pink or a bit more intense with the pink tone, just really adds a bit of life to the skin. So I'm gonna take Charlotte Tilbury's Beach Stick in Las Salinas, so this one. Um, these are just one of those kind of push-up cream blush. And I just think this is such a nice color, just to give a little bit of Again, I just think health, it just gives that pink. So I just put a couple of dots and then the same brush I used with my bronzer. 
so it just gives a really nice healthy glow and it's believable and I think with the cream as well like I said it just merges into the skin nicely wait 20 seconds just from using the brush because sometimes that brings more blood to the surface before adding any more so I just wait a little while and then I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the tops of my cheeks I look scary like that and just circular motions to buff it outwards and then I'm just going to set the areas that I don't want to kind of move or where I don't want any shine. So I'm going to take Hourglass Dim Light. Again, know what your face needs, know what your skincare needs are in terms of what kind of powder you choose. If you have very oily skin, obviously you might want to do some more powder or do a light veil all over to set it. So I'm just going to take, um, I think this is a crown brush. Crown brushes brush. So I don't know the name of this one. But I'm just going to use that just around my nose. I feel like I don't want loads a powder a little bit on my chin and I think for me I like this kind of powder because it still has that glow to it which I think is really nice if you've tried to make a glowy look you kind of want to keep that as well within your makeup now I think for me again you could add some highlighter here you could add some sheen one thing I really like for a natural finish is the Elizabeth Arden um, this is the eight hour cream It's really nice dabbed on cheekbones because it has no color in you can make a more believable your skin with a better glow or if you want something simple, just take something like a setting spray. So this is Urban Decay's All Nighter. And I'm gonna use this just to make the skin look fresh again without it looking obvious that I've put highlighter on. So just give it a few sprays, there we go. And then just let that settle into the face and mist. So I'm even gonna use some of that Charlotte Tilbury beach stick onto my lips, just to give it a bit of color. And then a bit of Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in Pillow Talk. And I'm just going to take some Victoria Beckham Brazilian Nude just on top. So I quite like a mix of kind of pinky and peachy nudes. And that is pretty much the finished look, guys. So hopefully you can see my skin looks real. It looks like my skin, but my skin at its best. And for me, I think that's what your skin but better is all about. It's having believable looking skin, but your skin quite literally at its best. So I'll pop a link below to all the products I've used today, as well as what was on my eyes and my lips, etc. Um, and one thing I wanted to mention, guys, as well, if you are looking for more advice generally on skincare and the perfect foundations and every element of the base, I do have my course all about that base which is a very in-depth course. It's an e-course, so it's online, um, that has modules specifically designed to work for every skin type to make you your own makeup artist so that you will know perfectly how to look after your skin, the kind of products that are gonna work for you, and the techniques that will make it easy. So I'm gonna pop a link to that down below as well. And um, yeah, I think it will make a lovely Christmas present as well for anyone who is really into makeup and really looking to kind of get the most from their makeup and their skincare. So I'm gonna pop a link as well down below for the course and all about that base at the minute has got a coupon available so you can get a little bit of discount on it for the Christmas period as I didn't do any Black Fridays or anything like that because I was moving but I did want to offer a kind of one-time discount this year. So I'm gonna pop a discount code down below for you guys as well for anyone who is interested in all about that base, the e-course. You have access to it for absolute ever so anything that gets updated or added to the modules you will also automatically receive those free and you have access to it ever so you can use it on your ipad laptop mobile um, lots of different ways you can use it and i'll pop a blog post with more information about the course so i really hope you guys enjoyed that video i'd love it if you subscribe and check out my previous video and i'll link a blog post with more information on the course and all the details you need um, somewhere on the screen here as well thanks so much for watching guys look forward to the next one thanks bye